three ways to save money with a baby. Hi, welcome to Bilingual Family TV, the place to be if you want to create meaningful relationships with your child while learning Spanish. Well, Mateo has been here for almost two months and I have some tips for you on saving money. The first tip is to get it used. There are so many items that you can get used. The truth is babies don't use their items for a long time. So you are able to get great deals by getting some items used. For example, our crib or Mateo's crib is used and we got it for $75 uh, and it was an $800 crib. We got a new mattress, but still we got a great crib for a tenth of the price of, of its original price. Another thing you can get used is clothing. Um, now, this is up to you. This can be controversial, but you know, babies really don't use their clothes for that long and you can always wash it. I buy used clothes, so I don't have an issue with that, but of course, it's completely up to you. But in terms of big items like the crib or a changing table uh, or you know, we have a halo bassinet. Unfortunately, we did not get that used and he hated it. So that's, that's the thing. A lot of baby items are very expensive and you don't know if they're going to like them or not. So sometimes it's better to get them used and if they don't like them, at least you didn't spend a lot of money on that item. Tip number two, cloth diapers. Diapers are expensive. They are extremely expensive. And babies go through 12 to 14, or if you're Mateo, you go through 18 diapers a day. And so it, that can really add up, especially if you get some of the name brand diapers out there. It can be very expensive. So we originally wanted to do cloth diapers. However, Mateo was five pounds and two ounces when he was born. He was four pounds and 14 ounces when he came home from the hospital. So none of his um, cloth diapers fit him. And we had to use some disposable diapers. And that's when we really, well, that's when we truly realized how expensive diapers were. And luckily, a lot of our friends had already given us diapers, um, um, disposable diapers. So we were set, but we still, after a while, we had to buy some and they're definitely expensive. I'm going to show you really quickly the type of diapers that we're using, the cloth diapers that we're using, but there are many other options out there. So there's something for everybody. Here are the cloth diapers that we are using. It is a flat, this is called a flat. As you can see, it's flat. <laughs> and it's, uh, I think it's, this one's made out of cotton or, let me see, yes, 100% cotton. Um, and so it's very absorbent. And so what you do is you fold this fabric. I'm not very, doing a very good job. You fold it like this, and there are many different folds that you can do. And then you put it inside of a cover. This is what makes it water resistant, keeps everything inside, and it keeps your baby from getting wet. Um, and then you just put it on like a regular diaper like that. Well, like that. <laughs> so this has been so easy. There are many, like I said, there are many different cloth diapers. There are some that are pockets and I have some to show. There are some that are called all in one. So they're basically all the fabric is sewn into the diaper. And once you use one diaper, then you put it in, you immediately have to wash it. The issue, you have to wash these too. You have to wash the cloth. But if this cover did not get dirty, you could restuff it with a different cloth. And um, and that's how these work. But the all-in-ones and the pocket diapers have a lot of fabric in them. And so a lot of people struggle with having to wash them several times to get the stains out, to get the stink out. And also because there's so much fabric and it's kind of hard to get into all those uh, layers of fabric, sometimes the detergent builds up and so it keeps them from actually being absorbent. So I have found that these work great and we have been using cloth diapers now that Mateo can fit in them. 
what we do is we use cloth diapers at home and we take disposables when we go out. We may change this to all cloth diapers as it depends on how how we get used to using cloth diapers at home and once you feel really comfortable then we may start using them outside of the home but for now that's what's been working for us. Now if you decide that you do not want to use cloth diapers I have found some very affordable diapers at Aldi and I have them right here. So like I said we use disposable diapers when we go out and these are extremely affordable um, and they're great they don't leak or anything so a pack of I think it's 32 diapers 32 um, pampers is about $12 this one has 44 diapers and it is $4.99 or $3.99 I don't remember but extremely inexpensive so go to Aldi and check them out. Tip number three is to breastfeed, if possible. Um, I really struggled with breastfeeding at the beginning, but once we got the hang of it, it, again, babies drink a lot of milk and formula is very expensive. So if you can breastfeed, you it's a win-win. First off, you get so many benefits for breastfeeding in terms of their immune system and all of the great nutrients that breast milk provides for your baby. So that's one great thing. And then secondly, it's free. <laughs> so um, it's a win-win. Also, I wanna let you know that if you are unable to breastfeed for whatever reason, don't feel bad. Um, I think there's a lot of shame, mom shaming around and I've definitely experienced a lot of it. And so, I'm glad that I am now able to breastfeed, but if you can't, that's okay too. If you can't breastfeed, again, I will say Aldi has great um, formula. I actually bought two, like the equivalent of the Aldi brand, um, and I'll, I'll put a picture here, but they have the exact same nutritional value and everything, and it is a fraction of the cost. So. Again, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Aldi or anything, but I am a huge fan. So if you have a baby, it may be worth checking Aldi out. Well, there you have it. Three ways to save money with a baby. Buy it used, cloth diapers, and breastfeeding. If you like that video, give it a super me encanta, share it with your friends. And if you want even more resources, head over to bilingualfamily.us and sign up for our newsletter. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, second language acquisition is all about relationships. Adios. Aquí está el bebé Mateo.